Hey, thanks for coming everyone to the screening of Emergence Out of the Shadows at the North Delta Center for the Arts in the heart of North Delta, sponsored by the City of Delta. Thanks. Now get the director on camera over there. Stop hiding. Thank you. The theater is open. You can stay here if you want. The show starts at 6.30. All right, well, welcome everybody. Welcome to the North Delta Center for the Arts and the showing of Emergence Out of the Shadows documentary film. Jazz Paul Carr Sanga is going to come up um, and say a few words. So I would like to introduce Jazz Paul. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you everyone for being here today. I would like to first of all acknowledge that we are on the unceded, traditional and ancestral lands of the Coast Salish peoples. My name is Jasper Kaur Sanga and I am the mother of the producer of the film, Alex Sanga, who also star in the film along with myself. I am so grateful all my friends are here to watch this documentary from the Kennedy Senior Center, Indo-Canadian Senior Center, Fleetwood Senior Center, Newton Senior Center, Apneham Joli, and India Valley Association. Thank you also to the director of the film, Vinay Girdar, who is here today, along with Aftar Singh Nagra and Raj Mahkar Nagra, who also star in the film. <laughs> Big thanks also to Dr. Sukhvinder Kaur Bans of the South Asian Studies Institute of the University of the Fraser Valley for being the moderator of tonight's panel and for always supporting my son, Alex. Everything is possible if we work together and nothing is possible if you were not here today. Thank you for supporting a local filmmaker for North Delta like my son. God bless you all. About one week ago, I told my mom that uh, you know we've only sold a handful of tickets to this screening. We have 120 seats. What am I gonna do? My mom said, don't panic. I go to four senior centers. <laughs> I, I know you're here not just to support me as my mom's son, but you're here because you support and you respect and you value my mother. Thank you for all the, the familiar faces that I have seen, my friends, uh, family members, people I've known for years and decades who are here to support me today. You're here and I'm so grateful, like my mother said, and I wrote that line. <laughs> Everything is possible if we work together, and nothing is possible without you here. So thank you. To go through that journey. She was reading prayers all the time, and she was devoted to that, and she didn't believe in alcohol or any of this, and she, she wanted to be, you know, safe. So she took me. I was like a little play toy, like she could take care of. Every day she would take me. And you have to change this? Say no, no mom is uh, not your fault. But I feel that for a long, long time. Little, and my nephews picture came from India. As soon as 
I mean, I know I'm relatively young, but I feel old because <laughs> I've I'm the director of this film. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and supporting us today and then being part of the journey. It's amazing. Hello, my name is Afar Nagra. I'm in a cast in a film there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for the coming for the support. I'm Rajwant Nagra. And I'm a, we are the parents of Jack and Harv Nagra. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jaspel Senga, Alex Senga's mother, and we are both in the cast. Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I'm Alex Senga. I'm the producer and cast in the film. And believe me, I wasn't cast because I was the producer. This was the director's decision. He wanted a parent in the film, and my mom agreed to volunteer, and so I got dragged into it. <laughs> <laughs> So I had no power over the director. The director had complete editorial control. And this is Vinay's debut feature documentary. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, what really matters to me in this film, which really makes a difference, is the parents. It's because the parents have the power to love, to embrace, and to accept their children, or unfortunately what happened to Caden, to reject their children. So the, the message of the parents is so powerful, so I am in debt and in gratitude to Avtar and Rajwant and to my mother. Thank you. Um, well said, Alex. And I want to say Alex has taken this film so many places, so give him credit for just continuing to show. And, and, and for living your truth. You know, you know this film, is a tool for change, for social change. And what, you're, what do you think as a director? It's and do like you think a film is a, me, a, a sort of easier medium because they're not meeting Alex, they're not meeting Jags, they're actually seeing them on celluloid, so it, it kind of protects them a little bit. Do you feel it's a good medium? It is a great medium in the because house. people have access to their smartphones, their iPads, you know, a streaming service. You can always watch it at your home where you are safe. You know, you don't feel like, oh, somebody's watching me watching this, you know? So it, it gives them that perfect uh, avenue to just be in that space and then just learn about maybe other people or themselves, you know? 
and then uh, our parents can watch this and think about their children, what they might be going through. The parents have an intuition, like what the kid is going through. So um, the parents can watch it and understand what the kid might be going through. I remember uh, Rajwant auntie mentioned at some point that if she had known that her kids were going through this at an earlier stage, she would have been able to help them. Because when Jai came out, she was 25 or something. So uh, if she had known when the Jag was a teenager to say, you know, she would have had, you know, she, she could have given them better support. So I think parents should watch it, uh, um, teachers should watch it, kids should watch it. Um, for this film, I think showing, we had so many, there are almost 35, 40 screenings in high schools and universities uh, all over lower mainland. Um, and it's, it's, that's an amazing thing because you start those conversations at the school level, when, when things are changing for them, right? They, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're experiencing bodily changes, and this is when they're watching it, and they, are, they understand that, okay, this is normal, this is, this is this nothing, nothing wrong with it, you know? So, yeah, I think it's an, it's an important medium for Agreed. education, yeah. I think the story you have told uh, doesn't just touch us, you know, in places we, we don't go, in places we don't go to, but it really, motivates us, I hope inspires us, to talk about this in our homes. You know, this is a medium, the t uh, movies are a medium for us to learn, but you know, what you can do today is go home and influence people around you to understand what people are going through. And I think the tragedy of uh, people being homophobic is, you know, how people who are gay can't live their lives in truth. And for sick, I'm a sick, and the second word in my holy scriptures is that it, we must live a truthful life. And higher than truthful life is a truthful living. So we can't, uh, if we are um, to follow our faith or follow universal principles, even if you're not a person of faith, uh, you know, take that home, take that message and start young and build it up and then talk to, the, I mean, Rajwant and Naftar, you are, a symbol, a, 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 not a symbol, you're a beacon, you're a light for all of us for having done this. So I think we want to start by just uh, uh, giving them credit for taking that bold step. You're just, just a human being, nothing less, nothing more. So, yeah, good message. So if someone has the courage to come out to you that is a very major, major, major thing that, that that person is doing. They trust you. So you need to be kind. You need to listen. You need to be supportive. And you need to be a friend. Because you may be that barrier in that person's mind that is preventing them from harming themselves or hurting themselves. Just like Caden was walking on the Granville Bridge or the Broad Street Bridge, he didn't jump. because He wanted to have the will to live. You have to give them that will to live. You might be the only reason why that person is alive. So when someone is coming out to you, you need to be a loving, kind person. It's not your time at that moment to be giving your opinion or judgment on whether homosexuality is a good or a bad thing. You know, I think actions speak louder than words. If you are role modeling good behavior, other people around you will see that. If you yourself, as an elder, or a parent or a grandparent in your family is accepting gay and lesbian children and grandchildren, your family, your community, your relatives will see that. Just like what Auntie G. Rajwant did, she said, you know, when she was accepting Harv and especially Jag, she said, if your parents give me, if, it, if anyone gives you a hard time, don't come to my funeral. She said that, right? So she was role modeling that behavior which empowered her children. I think everyone has the power as an individual to empower other people. So if you can't do anything at all, don't do anything to hurt anyone or harm anyone. Just, just be a friend. Does that answer yeah. the question? Rajwant, do you have some insight? I mean, if you don't have any hurt, he will go down more. Let them come out by themselves. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, 
who knows how they react. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Excuse me, uh, uh, Jaspal ji. Ji uh, help kar niya, te baut achi galia ki jidda hon share Vancouver group hai ga. Ona no introduce krao ki as form te ja as email te tusi contact kar sakde ya koi hoor information chahiye te ona to lelo. कई बार आप नहीं लगता हूँ कि असी अच्छी तरह किसी समझा सकी है, कुछ कह सकी है। हाँ गल सुन लो बंद की तो दसो उन्होंने कि कोई गल नहीं आप भी तो इदा ही आए हैं संसार तो इदा ही तुम आए हैं साढ़े लिए तो ठीक है खुल के गलबात करो अगर होर चाहिए है इनफोरमेन तो इन्हों कॉन्टैक्ट कर लो to help kar sakte hain jispal was saying that she, you know recommend them to get in touch with share vancouver and get into a group or give them some information jispal what does it take for a gay south asian person to tell the truth how can they go come out what 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 does it take to tell the truth number one whoever is going to talk about that telling should love her or himself first when the person is comfortable in their own body and the, and the, your own soul uh, is helping you, guiding you to tell the truth. And the other way is that uh, whether you have any knowledge or not, if somebody trying to open up with you, please uh, listen like uh, everybody have a story to tell and they have their story to tell. So with respect with each other, and being a friend for each other. Sometimes people ask me very weird question, like a uh, long time ago, one of the very innocent type lady asked me, um, if they uh, sit together or they are friends with each other, they, uh, can they influence for each other to be a gay? You know, things like that. So I said, no, 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 that has nothing to do with it. We don't know anything. We were at the Vancouver International South Asian Film Festival. It was the closing night film. The film just finished and it was dead silence in the room and it was packed and it was mostly Punjabi Sikh people in the audience. I thought, me and, Bob, me and Vinay looked at each other and we thought, oh my God, we just bombed the film in Surrey, our hometown. And there's politicians in the audience. And so all of a sudden they all stood up and they started clapping. And then the festival director walked in, Manu Sandhu, and she said, you know, and the winner of the best documentary for Visaf 2021 is Vinay Girijar for Emergence. So we got the best documentary award. And then when I was outside, this, um, um, this elderly man came up to me wearing a turban and he had a beard and I thought, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen now. So he came up to me and he says to me, he goes, you know what, I didn't know much about your community. I was curious about this film because I heard a lot about it. I don't know much about the gay community. And one thing I really want to say is, your film had a strong spiritual core to it. You, you included Sikhism in a way by respecting it, but you didn't blame our community or bash our community or trash our community. You respected Sikhism you share the spiritual backbone of people in the film, like my mom, like Rajwant, and even myself, I'm very spiritual. Without, without, um, without um, you know, tarnishing our community. And I don't know how Vinay did that, right? I really don't know how he did it as a director, right? And I don't know, so answer her question, but I just really, that was on my mind. I wanted to say that. <laughs> so, that, that uh, so that's a question I wanted, that what, I, what you said triggered me with what, what I'm asking now. So I don't know how he managed to make the movie about Sikhism and, you know, spirituality. It, it's a theme throughout the film without, you know, bashing our community, which I thought was really good. As a South Asian director, creator, and it's been a really hard journey for me to make a film. Like it took me this many years to get this opportunity to do this film. And, uh, and there is not enough South Asian content that's coming out of this community because we have amazing stories. Um, to make a documentary like this, for me, it's, it's been a long, it's, it's almost been a 10-year ten, ten journey because I volunteered with Shrivankur for almost 10 years. I got to know all these people over the 10 years. Uh, I, I'm not a Sikh, I'm Hindu, I'm from the South of India. So learn, learning about Sikhism, Sikh heritage, Sikh culture, and learning about gay history, gay culture, uh, and everything. So even though we say, oh, we started the film three years ago almost, you know, 
uh, it was a 10 year journey for me and it's, it's, a, it's a journey that came into a completion with this film. Uh, everything started with Caden coming into the picture and uh, we wanted to make a film on Caden originally but then we realized that just having Caden and his parents it's, it, it's not a complete film because there are other amazing people who have managed to embrace their children. So we have uh, Jack's parents and then Amar's parents and then uh, Auntie Jaspal, like uh, we call her Grandma, <laughs> Grandma J. Uh, she, she's like the mother of Shervan Kaur group. And I know that she has an amazing message. I wanted her to be in the film and then that means that Amar was in the film. <laughs> and then Jag had an amazing story because Jag's brother was also gay. And then to have both parents, father and mother, um, in, scene, in, the, in the same household and accepting their children, that's a very unique story. And the contrast of uh, Alex's, Alex's dad not being in the picture and Caden's parents not being in the picture at all. So it just provides a wholesome view of this whole family structure, right? And then we suddenly find out that Jack and Agatha is having kids and that is a different kind of family. So we see this uh, variety, like this beauty of diversity, right? You see all this kind of things coming together. I think it, when everything comes together, it's magic. So oh, yeah, uh, I don't magical. know how it happened, uh, but it happened. So yeah, I, I totally cannot take credit for this film. Like uh, it's just their amazing stories. It's just, they just shown with their truth, right? Where when they are saying their truth, it just shines. So I I I just put it together. <laughs> so I I cannot take credit for beautiful. this thing. Avtar, do you want to say something? I just want a message for the uh, parents in there. You know, they should uh, love their kids in there instead of arguing them, talk to them, and listen. don't listen. Yeah, listen to them what they have to say, and uh, you don't have to fight over anything. You know. Just love them, you know, the, the way they are. They're trying to, you know, tell you something that you gotta listen. You know, if you, they go away or something, then yeah, you know, you, you got nobody in there just by yourself. You can sit there. You know, if you have your family and they listen, you know, talk, you have somebody to talk to. I know when I watched it the first time, I think Avtar crying in the movie really <laughs> struck me because a man in South Asian culture, Sikh culture, will never show themselves that vulnerable. So I want to give you, you know, credit and a round of applause um, Thank you. for being vulnerable on stage and to say it's okay to feel emotional because Caden's comments about this journey of fear really stayed with me that you live in this fear of ostracization, of homelessness, of mental health, of substance abuse, of being not accepted, your family disowned, this, this journey of fear. When he said it, it, I thought, you know, we, it's a very damning kind of conversation for us as a society. What I'm last message do you want to give to the audience? A message? Jack's t-shirt says, PR is PR, like love is love. I just think that that is, the, that is the message that we want to leave with this film. And, um, and if you want to help people, like, just be there for them, just listen to them. I think empathy is what you need um, to heal the world, right? So, oh, yeah. God. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you <too good. laughs> okay. Uncle G, you're next. Pyar is pyar. Pyar is pyar. Pyar is pyar. Love each other. Love. Yeah. Yeah. Respect your kids. Respect your kids. Yeah. Respect. If you respect them, they they will be more powerful. They will stand up. But if your own kid, you don't respect them, listen to them, respect them. And um, if they are wrong, like, very nice way, tell them that this is the right way. It's a hard, it's a hard, very tough, very tough thing. Because kids sometimes, like my daughter, doesn't want it. When I say, I was more worried about my daughter, she sometimes used to snap on me. Why you were worried about me, not her? Because I said the society, our society, our culture, didn't even accept uh, like uh, boys that they are gay. 
how would they accept you as a girl? It's a tough one. And I'm not just kidding. <laughs> then slowly, slowly, she learned. <laughs> she understand my point of view, but I was so worried about her. Like imagine like being a mother of a daughter, how hard it is. In India, <laughs> Punjabi culture, <laughs> we don't talk. Our parents never talk about. It. Maybe but they you, miss. But you, but but Raj, uh, Rajan, you have changed that story. Yeah. You have changed that story. Whisper, we should not be telling whisper. that story anymore. Yeah. We need to tell your story. Yeah. yeah, we don't talk about that. Women are. Let us tell your story. Thank you. And that will become the new narrative. And in the movie, Caden says, I need to change the narrative. So my mom is now, what, what do you want to say? What message? The message is that hiding your feelings inside, not opening up to anybody, can create so many diseases okay. inside you. It's not good to be quiet, silent for things. Do your duty as a parent to love your children and it's another duty to listen to them. And if you don't know the answer, maybe somebody else know the answer. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, things are a little different than 30 years ago when we were going through it. And sometimes we cry, sometimes we laugh, even though sometimes when uh, Amir was even in elementary school, I'd come home and say, I don't understand, Mom. Everybody like the brown uh, atta roti and brown sugar <laughs> and uh, dark color they go for vacation. And we are born like this. And how come they not liking us? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. Those days, I myself don't know much how to answer all the questions he bring every day from school. So the thing is this, that opening up and talking from your heart and the true tales for each other with the sympathy and respect and dignity and not to hurt anybody if you don't know anything, still remain quiet and listen to the person. That could take off the burden from your chest as it is, even though we don't do anything for anybody. Thank so, you. So the Dispa. message is love each other. So, and if you have a choice and stay away from hate and any negativity, all the negative vocabulary, we don't need it. And we need to embrace each other. Yeah. Oh, thank so, you. So um, my message is very simple. I believe in the golden rule. I said, treat people how you want to be treated. Love one another. And I think the world will go around just nicely if we just follow that. So thank you. Yeah. And we are working on our next film, I Migrant, which is about immigrants from different parts of India to different parts of Canada, shot in real time as their story happens. And of course, we have Dr. Satwinder Baines, who's going to be helping us with that as a South Asian scholar. We have Annie Ohana, who's going to be helping us with the teacher's guide. But Vesh, who's walking around with the video, he's going to be our director of photography. And he's sitting right there with the white shirt on. Parents are vulnerable too and that children are vulnerable too, and just follow your comments about you know, being there for, for Alex all through his journey. It, it, the whole movie has so many, it, it'll take you a few times to watch it to get all the nuances of what the film is saying. Uh, and if you can have those teacher guide or conversations in the home based on those nuances, there's a lot going on in the film. So I, I really wanna say it's a powerful, powerful message and we have to take heed from that message and change wherever we can change. We may not be those Kim Kardashians of the world, but we have our own spaces of influence, right? Like we have influence, all of us, each of us has influence, and we make that, take that step. So I think the film is very inspiring. If there's a word I want to use, I want to say inspiring. <laughs>